Corey Trepanier is here. Uh, Corey is, well, you're an artist turned filmmaker. Which were you first? At my core, always an artist, right. uh, a painter. I love to paint the Canadian wilderness and started to become a filmmaker right. a few years back. So did you, when you went, first went to the Arctic for the first time, yeah. did you go there as a painter? I went there as both, right. actually, because uh, I went to the Arctic to develop this collection of about 50 paintings from all across the north. I love painting the wilderness and going to these places I can't capture all of the experience and everything that takes place in a painting. Right. So I started filming it so I could share the rest of that experience too. How many times have you been back there now? Well, I've done three major trips that have been part of this Into the Arctic collection that I'm developing. Right. Uh, to the Western Arctic, uh, two and a half months. Baffin Island, a month. Ellesmere Island, another couple months. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, Do you this, paint that? Yeah, that's Is one that of the painting? Four falls. You know what's spectacular about that? That's the Arctic. And so few people would expect that to be our north. My that's up God, in Ellesmere man. Island, the top of the world overlooking Tankery Fjord. How do you get up there? Man, it's a lot of work. Is it? And a lot of the, well, Parks Canada has been a major part of oh, helping me get around a number of these places. Set a painting too? Yes, it is. It's I tough to tell, Corey, because they're beautiful and they're well, thank you. quite realistic. Well, I started that from the front of Billy Arnacook's uh, canoe when I was out there in the ocean with him, surrounding the icebergs. So this is uh, some of the work that I'm developing. This piece here is uh, the eastern side of Baffin Island, and it is a Coronation Fjord. It's four kilometers wide, mile-high walls. Oh, my God. So all of this stuff is so spectacular that I had to start making films from it as well. Look so at that. Mount Thor, the highest sheer rock face in the On world. On the left there? That's right. It's the highest sheer rock face in the world. It's up in Iwetuk National Park. So spectacular places, and this is working on that 15-footer in my barn, right. which I had to renovate to where, make room for it. Where is your barn? I live in Caledon, about an hour northwest of Toronto, okay, yeah. out in the countryside, Yeah, and um, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. I've got a couple daughters there, my wife and I, yeah. who actually came with me to the Western Arctic the Did first she? time around. Yeah. Uh, all of them. We're going to show some of your video now, This is, and this is one of the films you've ended up making, right? That's right. This is a part of Into the Arctic 2, the film that I've brought to Ottawa as part of my Into the Arctic 2 film tour. And uh, the goal in bringing it here was to show the North to other people on the big screen. I can only get so much into my paintings. How, so, many, how many people did you go up there with? Obviously, somebody's shooting this. Uh, usually only one other person. Mm. Uh, for this month on Baffin, I had a friend who's a filmmaker, and then uh, he had to leave after two weeks, and I carried on <coughs> with by myself and shot and painted everything else on my own. Yeah, so this is a Nyweek, like one of the regions up north that is uh, Look at that really bridge. spectacular. This is, um, you know, and we're talking about this, uh, uh, you know, while people were eating cupcakes. Um, <laughs> this is a part of the world that, unfortunately, not a lot of Canadians are going to get to. No. Right? No. It, you know, we often talk about, you know, traveling in our own backyard and going to see our country. This is a part of our country that we're really, it's tough to, to imagine that a lot of people are going to get up there. So you're bringing that part of the world to us, and that's what's spectacular about it. Well, thank you. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a real reward to not only go over there pursuing what I want to do as a painter, because, you know, it's a solitary pursuit as a painter. I mean, you're pursuing something that's inside your head and an experience that you have with the world. Uh, but the, the filmmaking side has given me the opportunity to, uh, to really take it to a, to a different kind of audience. To Did you feel obligated audience. to do it? You know what I mean? You got there to, to do whatever, uh, you know, paint and find, find things to paint, and, and I'm sure there's no lack of that. But suddenly did you find yourself thinking, you know what, I, I must share more of this with people? Well, to a certain extent, I mean, I love the filmmaking process because it's a creative art yeah. in itself. Yeah. Um, on the other side, uh, if you consider, if you've ever seen a spectacular sunset, uh, usually the human reaction is to turn to the person next to you after you've seen it and go, <laughs> did you see that? And the filmmaking has become that for me. Yeah. Having been there, having seen it, having experienced it, the opportunity to share it with other people and let them get a taste of it at least, and now doing the tour and showing it to people on the big screen. What, what's been the response great. to your tour? It's been really overwhelming. Uh, people have really seemed to connect with our North uh, through the way that I've presented it. <clears throat> they feel proud about being Canadian that much more. It's proud and surprised, maybe? Yeah, actually surprised, yeah, because, you know, early on, I had a few people uh, who would say, oh, you're going north, make sure you bring lots of white paint. And as you saw from that first painting, that was all there's oranges nothing, and greens. There's nothing white about it. No, there's an amazing variety in the north that's been wonderful. I'll tell you what, uh, we got to go, but I want to tell people that they can see uh, the latest film, correct? That's right, Into the Arctic 2. Uh, uh, Empire Rideau Center Cinemas uh, on Rideau Street uh, coming up tomorrow. 
tomorrow night. That's right, tomorrow night at 7.30. And are you going to be there to talk more about it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Parks Canada is hosting our event here, and Nunavut Tourism is helping out as a presenting sponsor as well. I will be there to open the film. We're having a little reception, some draw prizes, and tickets are available at IntoTheArcticFilm.com. Can people buy this? Absolutely. Actually, that's one of the things that uh, people seem to like. They want me to autograph them after the film, and we have them both Into the Arctic 1 and 2 available at the film. Uh, the film event tomorrow night. There's, that's what it looks like. Good for you. Thanks for coming by to see us. A pleasure. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me here. In, in enjoy yourself uh, while you're here. Thank you. I'll get you a cupcake, whatever Thank one you want. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's 8:51. This is CTV Morning Live. That's how you get in touch with us. We'll be right back.